Hello, greetings, uh, and uh, I really appreciate your time to attend this training. So, very good morning, very good afternoon, good evening. This is Deeraj from Anvis, and uh, today we are going to cover a very important topic in this training. Uh, it's regarding our uh, a cloud-based application that is Anvis Crosscheck Cloud. So, I am going to cover few basic points, few basic functions of cross-check cloud, which are very important, uh, you know, to start using the cross-check cloud. So as we had discussed in previous sessions as well, Anvis is having multiple applications in the kitty. So cross-check cloud is one of the important application which customers are demanding, customers are required, like they're asking for the cloud application. So we have, multiple products which support like almost 90 percent products from anvis which are supporting to cross check cloud and yes definitely that will be helpful for customers also to use a centralized application a cloud-based application where the scenario is you can install multiple devices at number of locations and you can get the data at the central location so in this uh, session in this training we are going to cover few basic features basic functions of cross-check cloud, and that will help uh, you and your customers to start the start using cross-check cloud. So uh, let's start, uh, let's start with the training. So before moving to the actual features, let's have a brief on the company. Anvis is in the market since last 15 years, 15 plus years. We are having a presence across 100 plus countries, cover 200,000 pro uh, projects as of now from our side from our partners. We are having 200 plus patents on our name. The major algorithm that we cover from our side is BioNano, which is, which is supporting to fingerprint, which is supporting to uh, face verification and iris verification. We are having RVI, that is video intelligence analysis from our side, that is again patented algorithm from our side. As we are discussing cloud platform, so this is the beginning of our cloud application that is Anvis Crosscheck Cloud, which is a part of uh, a cloud platform and we are having SAPs as well in our product line. This is our complete journey from 2005 to 2020. Right now we are in the 2022 where we have launched another application, other applications as well and other solutions as well. So the major milestones in our, in our journey is 2015 where we have launched a separate business unit on the name of Utech which is uh, a, a dedicated business unit for uh, small medium enterprises. Then in, in 2019, we have launched another business segment, business unit that is CK365, which is specially designed for a cloud-based access control and a, a, a controller-based solution. And in 2020, we launched our facial recognition that is AI-based facial recognition from our side. These are the three business units. It, it, business units are there in Anvis umbrella. Uh, you know, the first one is Enterprise security production solution, where we cover access control and time attendance solutions from Anvis. Utech is consumer products, which are specially dedicated for DIY products, and uh, uh, especially for smart locks and uh, residential solutions. And uh, Secure 365 is integrated security SaaS platform for access control purpose. Major product lines under Anvis. That, that is Anvis Access Control and Time Attendance Solution and intelligence surveillance products and solutions. Our technology structure where we cover multiple platforms under uh, IoT Cloud Platform, that is ACP, AI, device management, event management, user management, video intelligence, access control, time attendance, security platform, and other, uh, other business segments as well. We majorly focusing on the communication via Bluetooth, via Zigbee, via Wi-Fi, and 4 GLTE, so most of the devices are supporting either of the communication modes. Uh, we are into fingerprint solutions, fingerprint-based verification solutions, RFID solutions, surveillance products, smart lock, and again, some of the uh, security products that we are having. We majorly cover IoT security, and we are having multiple platforms from where we can, we can reach to the customers. 
our core technologies as i said like bionano is a patented algorithm for uh, for fingerprint based solution face algorithms and as well as iris algorithm that covers under the bionano segment rbi is a patented surveillance algorithm for real time video intelligence and we focus on data security and data privacy as well uh, our global sales we are having four plus global offices 300 plus employees working across the globe 100 plus distributors 30 plus technical partners or technology partners 2000 plus resellers and uh, 50 plus system integrators those are working with us you know on on the ground major success stories like mexico government liveness fingerprint access control projects top 20 universities which cover cloud based time attendance projects total security solution for global offices of of the corporates where we are coming more than 50000 staff across more than 30 global branches global branches so across the globe you can say major events that we that we cover from our side like global expos road shows and public trainings right now we are covering public trainings and we will cover more public trainings uh, as soon as we release more uh, more versions or more products from our side so these are the uh, these are the events where we uh, we interact with our customers we try to convey the solution to our customers so that they can learn and they can pass on to the customers again so in this training we are going to cover access control time attendance solution and crosscheck cloud is a part of this particular access control time attendance solution so for crosscheck cloud uh the basic functions we are going to cover is how to connect device to the cross check cloud and some of the basic other features which uh, which will be important for you i will just go through i will just take you through the presentation and i will show you uh, how device can be connected to the cross check cloud and i will show you the real time uh, application features as well so first of all first and at most like you have to register yourself on a cross check cloud uh, where you can create your own account you using your email id and you can create your own own account on either of the clouds the like cloud servers are that is us cloud server or asia pacific cloud server or uh, european cloud server so you can use the specific cloud server and then you can create your own account yes so uh, after the training we will have a small uh, q and a sessions where you can ask your questions and then i can i can be able to answer the questions with the solution so just wait for the things here you can create your own account and then you can start using the project cloud application at your end using any 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 browser or internet connection so once you once you create your cloud account you will get a company id and a cloud password where these are the two parameters which are more important for connecting the device to the cloud application so once you create the cloud account make sure you either note the company id in cloud password so there are two passwords one is like one is the login password which is which is you which you have created at the time of creating a creating an account and another one is uh, a cloud password which is used for connecting a device to the cloud account so you have to make a note of both the passwords basically so once you get the company id and the cloud password you can go to the device settings device menus so most of the thing like first of all you have to check whether the device is supporting to the cloud communication or not so for that you can go to our website you can go to the support and you can go to the faqs and you can just search for cloud and you will get the list of devices which are supporting the cloud communication so make sure you like if if you are trying to connect the device to the cloud account you have to cross check whether your device is supporting to the cloud account or not cloud communication or not so once you confirm that your device is supporting to the cloud communication you can go to the device menu then you can go to the settings network in the network you will get the ethernet and wifi options where you can connect the device to the local network lo local area local area network using either ethernet or wifi which can provide the internet connection to the device 
So first of all, you have to do the local setting, local, uh, local network setting. Then you have to go to the internet communication where you can select which will be the mode which will support, which will provide the internet connection to the device. So suppose I'm, I'm connecting my device to a Wi-Fi communication, which will be having an active internet connection. I will select Wi-Fi in the internet option. If my device is connected to ethernet and that ethernet communication is providing uh, the internet connection, then I will select ethernet option in the internet option, internet feature. Where you can put the DNS, that is 8888 is the by default DNS, which will be fine. So once you connect the device to the network and active internet connection, then you can move to the next feature that is uh, the network settings. And then after that, you can go to the cloud communication. So this will be the, uh, these will be the options where you can select a cloud. Cloud option will be there in the network settings. And then once you go to the cloud option, you can use the username and password, which I showed you on the settings page of cloud application where you can use the user ID is nothing but the company ID that is again a numeric and password is also a number which will be available on uh, on the cloud uh, cloud application so you can use the same company ID and password under user ID, users and uh, password option then the next and important feature is server IP or you know you can you can select whether you know so this is what actually I, I just wanted to show, like you can use the company ID and password for the cloud communication in the cloud option. Then the important feature is server IP. And uh, if you are going to use it as an IP or if you're going to use an URL, you can, you can select the particular URL from the dropdown box from the selection menu. Like you can choose the URL, like if suppose you, you have created an account on a US cloud server, you can select the US cloud from the option. If you have created an account to Asia Pacific server, then there will be Asia server available in the option where you can select the uh, select the particular server. And if you're not getting the option, you can use a manual input of feature. You can select the manual input uh, option and then you can enter the URL as mentioned below. So if you have created an account on US server, you can uh, you can you can put uh, device.us.crosscheckcloud.com or you can use ap and european uh, options as well european server options as well so in this this is the important feature where we have to uh, we have to um, take care like you are mentioning the right username and password and you are selecting the right server or you are doing the manual entry of the right server url so once you connect, once you make the entries, once you make the configuration, you have to do the network test. So network test is the option which is below the input IP option. Once you click on the network test, device will test every parameter. Like it will test the network parameters, it will test the cloud parameters as well. So in the network parameters, it will test the gateway, it will test the DNS, it will test the internet connection which is forwarded to the device, and it will test the cloud uh, cloud server or IP as well. So these are the things where you can see, like if everything is okay, then you will get the network test okay, network test okay, internet test okay. And in cloud server also, you will get the you know network test okay. So this is what actually the important thing which you have to make sure, like if everything go goes okay, device will directly connect to the cloud option. So this is what actually you are getting here. So this is what actually you can you can use this option. Then this is what. So once you connect the device to the net using the right network parameters using the right uh, cloud parameters, device will automatically uh, created will be created into the cloud account. You can log into the cloud account. You can go to the organization and you can go to the device option where you can see the device online over there. So I will show you uh, like how it exactly looks on the on the cloud param cloud application. So some of the basic functions of cross-check cloud, you have to log into the account first. And then as I said, like once you log into the application, you will be landed on the dashboard page. So dashboard page will show you multiple parameters in a graphical manner where you can easily get the data in a, in a graphical format. That will be easier for you to understand what is exactly happening with the organization. 
so whether how many how many devices are configured how many devices are online how, how many devices are offline how many employees are punching their attendance how many records are there so everything will be displayed on a dashboard in a graphical format so once you once you add the device the device will show in this way in the in the on the organization page in the device tab you can see number of devices which are communicating uh, with the you know with the cloud application so if device is online if device is configured properly it will show the active device in this way otherwise it will show you know it it will show offline in in a gray format so once you once you configure the device to the cloud application you will get the number of devices the number of devices which you are configuring will be shown on the cloud application automatically then to get the device information you have to just use this uh, mark you use this just click on this mark and you will get the device information the name of device and the you know the department or in which the device has been added last online time and the firmware version the device serial number number of users on the device and you know templates and other things that you can see so you have to just use this mark to get the device information in detail okay so this is what actually i was telling like once you log into the application you will get a dashboard which will show you multiple things in a graphical format in a in a iconic format where you can see a uh, number of you know number of devices which are configured and out of which how many devices are online you can see the number of records downloaded to the cloud application number of employees who are supposed to punch today so that that will decide based on the number of employees number of users which are created on a cloud account then based on their punching based on their attendance you can see the late comings early goings absence overtime and exceptions for the previous day so once you log in you will get the data for the previous day for the current day you can see the number of employees who are punching the status of the employees who are punching on the devices which you can see here and the respective miss punch respective entries done by the employees you can see it here once you scroll down you can see the monthly data in a graphical format so that will show you the spike chart with the attendance like late early exception and absent so that will be the mixed spike spike chart for multiple parameters then in organization you can create number of departments so i have shown you some of the example so department 1 department 2 and under department 1 there are two employees which you have created and out of two devices one device is online that you can see it here the next one is the attendance where you can create the timetable the shifts you can uh, set some time attendance parameters and you can assign the timetable or you can assign the shifts to the employees using the schedule feature so we will discuss these features in detail uh, in upcoming trainings i will cover one one by one feature and uh, that will help uh, that will help you to configure the features accordingly the next page is records where you can see all the records coming from the devices this will show you the uh, name of the user name of the employee employee id department date time and from which device the user has been punched the his entry actually and you can export this uh, data into multiple report formats using the report card record where you can see multiple uh, reports okay extremely sorry uh, so uh, this is what where you can see the records with the multiple parameters of uh, the users uh, like you know you can see the department employee id 
name of the user, date, time, and from which device the employee has punched the attendance. Then there are some other report formats available for time attendance purpose, where you can see, you can get the reports, you can export the reports into uh, Excel and uh, CSV format. And if your device is supporting to IRT, uh, uh, temperature and sub mass, then you will get the data of users with their photos, with their images taken from the device with the respective temperature. And uh, you know if the user has weird mask or not, that can that will be shown on the image itself. In settings, there are number of general settings available, which will be useful for you to configure the setting as per your requirement. So in general setting, you can get the option to set time and date setup, then temperature mass parameters that you can configure as per your requirement. So uh, you can set the time zone in which you are using this application. You can set the date format. You can set the time format. Uh, that will be, that will be helpful for you to get the records in the particular date and time format. And in temperature and mass setup, you can configure the mass detection, mass alarm status, work mode, and, and other other parameters, other basic parameters, which you can just log into the application. And you can get the parameters option over there. So this is what actually I wanted to convey. Uh, in the today's session. So these are the basic features. And, uh, you know, once you start using the things, you can get the get the feel of the cloud application. Like you can you can see the features. You can try to configure the features from your side. You can uh, you can just take a help from technical support team. Just drop your queries, drop your questions on the support at the rate and .com. Or you can go to the help.crosscheckcloud.com and where you can get all the help, all the support related to cross-check cloud application. So let me show you some uh, some real configuration. So that will help you to, you know. OK, so here I have logged into the web server of the device. Let me log into the web server. I will show you how to configure the device on a cloud application first of all. So let me log into the cloud uh, web server of the device. I just went to the network. In the network, I selected uh, which is the mode which is providing internet to the device. So I have selected Wi-Fi. My device is connected to Wi-Fi communication. And then in Wi-Fi, I have configured the thing like in which Wi-Fi con configuration that I have uh, I have provided to my device. Then in communication mode, there is no need to uh, you know do anything any changes from the for, for, for this option. You have to just go to the cloud cross check cloud option where you can enter the cloud uh, cloud uh, code which is the company code of the device, uh, company code of the cross check cloud application and the cloud pass password. This is same which you can get in settings. This is the same company ID and this is the cloud password which you can configure in the device. Then either you can select a particular server from this option, like select the cloud server. If you are, if you have configured your application, if you have created your account on US, so US cloud server, you can select a US server here. You can select other servers as well, but you have to configure, you have to create your account in that particular server. So US cloud, the cloud server is there, China server is there, Asia Pacific server is there. You can get the uh, European server also. And there is the last option that is manual input. So if you want to enter the server URL manually, then you can just select the manual input and you can put the respective uh, URL for uh, for the cloud application. So for me, I've created my account on a AP server. So I've selected, I have just entered this uh, URL in the in the server server IP, server address. And then I, I clicked on the sub submit. So once my device is connected to uh, a proper network connection with the internet with the active internet uh, option then my device will automatically show on the cloud server so once i log into my cloud application i can see the things here like i am able to see the number of devices which are configured to the application out of five devices one device is online and four devices are obviously offline number of records which are been which have been transferred from devices to the uh, to the cloud application there is no need to manually download the record it will automatically push the data from the device to the cloud server number of employees which are supposed to punch today 
that you can see it here. On the left hand side, you can see the employees who who have to punch, who are going to punch today. And then accordingly, you can see, uh, you know, late coming, early going, absent, overtime, and the number of exceptions for the previous day, that is uh, uh, yesterday. So this, uh, the current employee punch status, this will decide based on the shift configuration. So for how many employees you have assigned the shift, the number of employees will, will require to punch their attendance. And based on that, it will show the data accordingly here. Then once you once you see, you can just scroll down and you can see the data in graphical format. So this is the data for uh, for March. Uh, if you are able to see, like you can see uh, the absence, the exceptions, the late comings, and yes. So this will show you the data based on the day, based on the date, and then accordingly it will be easier for you to understand how many employees were absent on a particular date, how many employees were present. How many employees were, you know, uh, maybe the late coming or missed punches that is that will be counted as a part of exception. Then accordingly, you can see the data here. You can select the previous month and you can get the data for previous month as well. So this will show you the data accordingly. Then going to the organization, I can see multiple options here like employees. You can add the employees. You can add the devices. So under the devices option. You can see the number of devices which are configured to the application, but out of those, the number of devices is like one device is online, which we which you are able to see here. And for that device, I can click here and I can get the device data here. I can get the device information, the name of the device, the department, and the last online time, the firmware version, serial number, number of users, number of templates. That can be you know that you can see it on the uh, in the detail information. So rest of the four devices are in gray. Those are disabled. Those are offline. And one device is active, which you can see, it, you know, in a in a in a colorful icon. In attendance, you can see the schedules and shifts option, time attendance parameters that we were going to cover in upcoming training. In records, you can see uh, the records that the, those are coming from the devices. So I can show you the record here. So the user that I just used on a cloud account is not registered. So you can see the records. Just a second, let me show you. So if user is available on the cloud account, then that will that will come come here. Otherwise, it will not show the record here. You have to add the user on uh, you know on the cloud and the same user will sync with the uh, with the device automatically in settings you can get the multiple parameters that we have already covered like general settings and uh, the company settings the rest of the settings the rest of the configuration parameters that we will cover in our coming training this is what actually i just wanted to convey uh, any doubts any queries uh, you are you are always welcome to raise your queries. So you can drop your queries either in chat box or in Q and A tab, so that I can answer your queries. Okay, so there is a question for SDK. Who should I stick to get SDK? You can drop a query about SDK on on our like from our website. You can create a support ticket for SDK, and our technical support team will get back to you with the SDK download link. One more question: uh, How do we get cross check cloud? Do we automatically get this, or is this? an added paid service no this is completely free 
free cloud application you can just log into cross check cloud you can just go to the website and just create your cross check cloud account on any server you can go to the asia pacific server you can go to us server or you can go to european server you can create the uh, create create your own account and you can start using it uh you can just confirm whether you, whether your devices that you are having will be having a cloud support for that you can just go to the support tab on our website go to faq and search for cloud you will get the list of devices which will support to the uh, cloud communication cloud application Any questions? Any further more questions? You can raise your queries. Okay, so for that, you just, uh, there is one question related to sales. Uh, so Jay, you can just drop an email on sales at the rate, uh, and uh, uh, they will get in touch with you about uh, the service providers in your area. So just drop an email to sales at the rate, uh, and Okay, so uh, to get the MAC ID, MAC ID or MAC address of the device, you can just uh, get the device. There is a MAC address printed at, at the label on the device. Uh, once you configure the device on cross-check cloud or cross-check standard, you can get the MAC ID from the application itself. Any further queries, you can just uh, drop your queries in the chat box or in Q&A tab.
Okay, thank you everyone. I really appreciate your time that you have uh, given for this training. I hope uh, most of the points are clear in this training. We will cover more training for Project Cloud and we will have you know multiple training.